Hello everyone, today I have a Frank Fisher Fury to show you guys. Um, this knife was made, I believe, um, around two years ago, if I'm not mistaken. And it went to my, a fellow collector who lives, who is a neighbor um, in, in Thailand with me. And I believe this is one of the most beautiful i haven't i haven't seen many knives with this pattern timascus i believe it's timascus I, I haven't checked um maybe it's mocha Thai, but who knows but one of the most beautiful patterns here um which you know it's a subjective because for me i think this pattern is is unique and i love light blues <laughs> dark blue and light blues are just beautiful um, so, one of the most beautiful theories out there, um, in my opinion. And I'm really, really happy to be the owner of this one. If you looked at my previous video, I've done a, one video on a Frank Fisher battle. Um, and so this is the, the second model that Frank makes called the Fury. Um, you know, Dr. Frunky, which is another very well-respected YouTuber, has done a great job, a great video on that piece, it's going through, you know, exactly why, why Frank's work is, is amazing and why, you know, he chooses to have Frank's work, you know, if he only had to have one knife, you know, I would, I would put a bet that it would be something from Frank Fisher, but... Anyways, let's get back to the video. Why do I love Frank's work so much? I've owned, you know, let's say four Frank Fishers beforehand. The first knife that I've owned from Frank, it was actually a, a Fury. It was a frame lock Fury, but it was a full Timascus piece with a um, San Mai Core um, XHP blade. That one had a flipper tab which was more pointy and the action was just so strong it, it had a really stiff detent and it flipped out like a, a tank it's like a rocket but nowadays you know the flipper tab is more friendly for your hand and the action you know it still it flips out really well but it's much more subdued a lot more quiet and a lot more smooth I, I don't remember if I mentioned this in previous videos or, you know, my Instagram posts, but Frank's action usually has a little bit of grittiness where you have to break in. Um, I've never been able to break fully break in any one of his knives beforehand. Maybe it's because of the blade, steel, I don't know. Maybe it's the way he finishes the, the what do you call it? Um, the channel where the detent ball rides in um, but this one absolutely perfectly smooth which I was quite surprised and happily so makes it a lot more fun to, to play with <laughs> let's go into the knife itself it is a bolster lock build um, I think this is the first bolster lock that I've had from Frank and you know the frame the bolster lock is where you have the frame frame lock with a scale that's on top of it but it still retains you know the the the, the pros of having a frame lock is when you hold the knife you squeeze this this liner in so the liner won't accidentally you know slip out and close on you if you you know stab into something so the pro, it's got the, both the pro of the frame lock and the looks of a, a liner lock, which is really beautiful. And the way that Frank does this, and it's still not a lot of makers do this, is that he's done the knife with fully hidden hardware. So you can see the scale has no screws holding it in. Same with this um, pocket clip. You can only see the pivots, which are you know custom pivots on both sides absolutely beautiful by the way I love how it's been blued and anyways 
you know, it's got a really awesome hidden hardware build, which takes a ton of work. You know, for, a knife like this usually takes Frank maybe a month to finish, um, just because of how complicated it is. You know, how like how well his work has been done, and, and the four knives that I've owned from him, they're all flawless mechanically and you know fitment wise just perfect you know you can't feel the transition between the two materials absolutely perfect even here on this side you'll you'll feel it because the the liner has to move this way so it will not be flush because if it is flush you won't be able to open the knife <laughs> it's got to be able to move anyways his knives are all centered, so mechanically, super, super solid. Lockup is early, as I've had in all of his knives as well, really early, and I, I suspect the reason why is because I can't find the lock bar relief. You know, I have happened to have a Michael Birch with me, which is typical of what regular knives have, which is a lock bar relief that you see in this area. You see the liner, which is the full thickness, and there would be a small relief here to allow the liner to bend in, so you can move it and lock the knife. But maybe Frank's hit it inside or somewhere, but I can't seem to find that, <laughs> that relief, which is really cool because you know, in terms of the liner strength of the knife, no matter how thick your knife is, if you go look at the overbuilt knives, Direwares or Metford knives, you, it may look like it's a thick knife, but the strength of the knife or the liner is actually all dependent on here. If it's going to break, this is where it's going to break, at the thinnest point. So I would argue that Frank's knife in many ways is even more sturdy than a lot of the overbuilt knives because the liner is so darn thick. I don't see a relief on it. I don't know, I, it's just the cool side. Maybe it's hidden somewhere, but I think it's a super solid knife. Um, that battle that I've owned before, I've already sold it, but unfortunately, and I really miss it, I kind of want to buy it, purchase it again. But that one was so solid. Um, I carried it a lot, and you know it's been it, it worked well for me all the time. And the re and you know in terms of the cutting tasks that I use, I usually just open packages with it. I don't do a lot of fruit cutting, and you know this tip is just so useful when you just go in to try to open different packages, letters, whatever really easy to, to go in and cut something um, really precisely and the knife that Frank makes is some of the sharpest knives on the market because the edges he puts on it it's almost a mirror edge and but it's still very grabby but the the grind itself is super thin you can see this is a lovely hollow grind really difficult to do very unique and very functional, surprisingly. <laughs> you can't cut things on a cutting board, but still very functional for everyday tasks and for my use anyways. So yeah, absolutely love this knife. So cool. Perfectly function. Oh, and another thing that I didn't mention. The, the battle seems to be Frank's uh, most famous knife, um, followed by the Fury. But I would argue the Fury has much better ergonomics. Um, very comfortable to, to hold. So if you want to have something to carry from Frank, the Fury is the way to go. The battle, I do love the look of the battle, but you know the handle shape is more for design because you won't be able to hold it as 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 snugly or as well as the fury 
but yeah. This is just an absolutely perfect knife. Really beautifully done, as all of Frank's knives are. Super well made, perfectly centered, you know. Super, super special piece. If you had to had one knife, you know, maybe this would definitely be one of those knives where, you know, if you don't use it super hard or often like me, like I'd, I'd use it occasionally, open, you know, different packages or whatnot, it's like the blade stays sharp for a really long time and it's easy to strop if you have a block you can just strop it um, and if you really need to sharpen it you know you can always send it back to Frank but in terms of you know you don't a lot of um, reviewers or collectors love to take their knives out to clean which for me that's that's really not needed I, I always carry my knives you know, I just don't cut things that are super wet and it'll, you know, gunk anything inside. But if you need to clean it, just spray some WD-40 inside and flip it many times and then spray a, an air compressor just to, you know, clean everything out and the inside would be pretty much new. Um, that was a suggestion from a, actually, two makers, which, uh, you know, um, they're like the top makers in the business and it's always worked for me you know you just you do that and it pretty much clears all the gunk out that you need to clear and the action works perfectly you don't need to adjust anything you know it's super solid amazing knife oh yeah i forgot to mention the pocket clip again i love small pocket clips which work well this is one of them um Although this is steel, so it's a little bit stiffer than the titanium ones. I would have preferred titanium pocket clips, but I wasn't the first owner um, of this. So, but yeah, basically, super solid knife, amazingly built, very beautiful finish, very beautiful mating, the best pivot in business. <laughs> coolest bit, coolest and most unique blade. Oh yeah. All right. Thank you for watching. <laughs>